Greetings there, fellow YouTubers. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make lightsabers in GIMP. And I'm using GIMP version 2.6. And uh, by the way, this isn't me, this is my buddy Rob. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I've all already uh, opened up GIMP, obviously, and chosen the image that I'm gonna that I'm gonna edit. And the first thing you're gonna do is come up here to Image, and go to Scale Image. And the reason for that is just because I found it makes it easier to actually edit your um, your pictures. Okay, so in your width, right here, you wanna highlight that and then type in six three nine. And when you do that, come over here and click inside there, and that'll change it to 479, and then press scale. And this is going to show up real tiny. Wait for it, there it goes. Okay. And then all you got to do is come up here to your magnify, go to zoom in, and then zoom in until you get to the size that you know, you're know you comfortable working with. And we'll just do that, that's good. Okay. So now what you're going to do, is you're gonna come over here and change your foreground color to black and all you're gonna do is just click on this change it to black and then come up here to layer and new layer <laughs> make sure that your foreground color is checked and press OK okay and I'll come up here to your drop down arrow and go to screen and there you go now we're gonna change this back to white so click on that now you're gonna make an outline of your saber so we're gonna go up here to our path tool click on that and all you're gonna do is just click on the very outside of the blade so let's see I'll do it right here right here it somehow screwed up right here but that's okay so we're gonna make it look as good as possible there we go okay bring it up here Give that nice rounded tip. Okay, here, right there, and then complete it. Okay, now once you do that, come over here to selection for path. Click on that, and now you've got your selection. Now there's more than one way to do this. Uh, you're gonna fill this in white, and the way that I prefer is come over here to your paintbrush, click on that, and then I choose the biggest brush which is this one and then I uh, scale all the way bring this all the way to uh, 10 uh, you can either do this or just use your paintbrush and fill in the whole thing but I do it this way okay so just color it in like that now you're gonna come up here to select and click none and that'll get rid of your dotted line okay so now you're gonna duplicate this layer twice come up here to layer and if you don't have a piece of crap computer it'll go by faster but connect and click layer and go to duplicate layer and do it again and if you learn the hotkeys you know control shift D it goes a lot by a lot faster but this is educational purposes so we're doing this way so click it again so now you've got new layer new layer copy one and uh, so now you're going to add your glow. Come up here to this first layer, click on that, and go up to filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. And we're going to make this 5. And go ahead and click on this so it makes it 5 in both top and bottom. Make sure that your IIR is actually checked and press OK. And it'll give you a little bit of soft glow right here. There you go. Now do the same thing with the middle. Come up here. Now you don't have to go back into Blur and Gaussian Blur. You can just come up here to Reshow. Click on that. Now we're going to make this 20. But just do it for the top. Leave the bottom alone for now. And press OK. There we go. Okay, now the last one. The top one. Filters. Reshow. And this is, we're going to make 40. 40 and then we're going to go ahead and do it for both on top and bottom so click that and OK alright so now we're going to merge these three together so right click on this and go to merge down 
go to this, go to screen, and do it again. Merge down. And you can see you've got a really nice glow on that already, but uh, we're just going to take it and make it a little bit better. So, go up here, screen. Now, I've watched a lot of tutorials on how to do this in GIMP, but nobody's done this yet that I have seen. So, I'm going to show you something real quick. Come up here to filters, come down, there, down here to artistic, and go to soft glow. Okay, so I've already got this set up, but um, let's do a preview real quick. Make this 45 and this 1.00, and then press OK, and look what happens. It gives you even more of a glow. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to want to color this in. This one's going to be blue. So come up here to colors, color balance, and this is the color scheme that I've seen that looks the best. I mean, your opinion obviously is different from mine, but uh, this is the way that I do it. So if you're going to do it this way, then with shadows, since it's blue, uh, this goes with any color that you do. Any color that you do in shadows is going to be 35. So this one's blue, so the shadow is going to be 35. So come in here and highlight that, type in 35. And then go to midtones. Now midtones and highlights are the same. So midtones, we're going to make this negative 5. And this is 100. Do that for both of these. So negative 5 and 100. And press OK. And there you go. And that's your first one. Now I'll go ahead here and merge down. Now, if you want to, um, if say that your uh, your picture itself is too bright and it's making your saber look dull, before you do all that stuff, you can actually go to your background and go to colors and um, or brightness and contrast. And then you're going to mess around with your brightness and contrast a little bit, and uh, that should help a little bit. But we're not messing with that right now. So, okay. And that's that. Uh, let's, let's see, let's make this one red. So, let's see. This is black, layers, new layers. Oh, okay. Up here to screen. Make this white. Select that. Let's see. There we go. There you go. Select them to them. Now, fill it in white. Select none layers duplicate duplicate filters reshove oh no that's wrong got ahead of myself there filters blur Gaussian blur Five, both, okay, new layer, we show Gaussian blur, twenty, and make this forty. Down. Screen. Right click. Merge down. Screen. Okay, remember how I said with the color scheme, this one's going to be red. So come up here to colors. 
color balance. Now since it's red, shadows for the red is going to be 35. So 35. Now red in midtones and highlights, I just bring the red up 100%. So red and 100. Press OK. And there you go. And merge down. And when you're done, zoom out a little bit. There you go. You've got a uh, really good looking sabers. Uh, so that's my tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.